You know the state of journalism in America is horrific. They're mouthpieces for the powerful, for not only corporations, but they're lapdogs to the government. The New York Times has, has run us into every goddamn war we've ever been in, okay? New York Times got us into the Iraq war on purpose. New York Times let the government prosecute whistleblowers. New York Times... The, and the mainstream, that they're because and I'm saying that because they're supposed to be the pinnacle. They're supposed to be it. The journalist, they suck is just as hard as anybody. Uh, here's a guy named John Harwood. Do you know him, John Harwood? So that's John Harwood, right? He's got the blue check, so you know he's important. And uh, if you read the Podesta emails, what a goddamn sycophant this guy is! What a ass kisser to power. Oh, apologizing for being critical of the Clinton campaign over and over to John Podesta. Anyway, uh, honest to God, I was joking, he said. this is Anyway, you got to read those emails. I should do a whole thing on that. I was joking. I wasn't really being critical. So he decides to put up a poll because so now he's a bad journalist with psychological problems because he's a propaganda spewer for power and he's doing the opposite of what his job is. And uh, so he's doing the Russia thing and the whole thing. So he puts he puts on his own goddamn Twitter feed, he puts up a survey to ask his own goddamn followers, who do you trust? <clears throat> he says, who do you trust, WikiLeaks or the U.S. Intel officials? Do you see what the, do you see what the result was? The result was 83% of his own goddamn followers on Twitter trust WikiLeaks more than the United States U.S. intelligence agencies. Do you think that's what he thought was going to happen when he put that up? And to his credit, he didn't take it down because he knew it would look even worse if he took it down. So it's not gutsy that he's leaving it up. He's leaving it up because he knows it will look even stupider. <laughs> What a moron. This is your goddamn... Dude, he's a, he's your senior d dude. He's your, he's your senior journalist, dude. Pfft. What a waste. I, I just, so, I... Uh, John Harwood. A tool extraordinaire. And then he asked his own goddamn Twitter followers and they stick it right in his ear. Ha ha ha. <laughs> so even as so the American people are not being fooled by this shit. You know who's being fooled by this shit? Morons like John Harwood and everybody at MSNBC and Joan Walsh. Every moron in the world has been wrong about everything and doesn't care what damage they do to their country along the way. And his own goddamn Twitter followers just stuck it in his ass. And did it change him one bit? No. No. It's seven o'clock. It is seven.